All right, so at the end of the last video, um, I had just finished making my surfboard suction cups, my surfboard support system, but my suction cups were leaking air, and so I couldn't really hold the board down long enough to actually cut the board out on my CNC machine. Um, so over the last couple weeks, I've been trying to fix my suction cups, and the solution that I came up with is actually to 3D print a mold of the suction cups and then I poured this uh, polyurethane compound into it um, which is a much softer material than what I was 3D printing before and so I molded my suction cups and I got these guys out of it. These molded suction cups worked really well. Everything that I was testing them on uh, they were holding it down really well. They weren't leaking any air until I put a surfboard blank onto them and then they started leaking air and I don't know really know why but I think it's because the foam is kind of porous and there's lots of little crevices and cracks and so air was able to leak through under the seal of the suction cups and so in order to fix that um, what I did is I took this kind of thin super thin sheet it's maybe like two millimeters thick sheet of EVA foam that I just found at the dollar store and I cut out um, a ring shape to go around the perimeter of the suction cup here and then that way when I suck the board onto the suction cups the foam is being pushed into any of the little cracks that may be there that are letting air through and so the foam actually seals the cracks of the suction cup and this is actually working now which is pretty exciting and so I'm going to try and cut a board out again. When I say I'm gonna cut out this board again, it's because I actually tried to cut the board out of the same piece of foam three or four times before I made new suction cups. And I messed up all of those times, but I learned something each of those, those times that I messed up. On this first attempt, I just tried to cut the shape of the board straight out of the blank without thinning it out at all. First off, one of my suction cups actually fell off, and so the whole board lifted up, and then that, knocked off my dust shoe which messed everything up and I had to emergency stop the machine. I had to reattach that suction cup that fell off and then I tried again the next day. But this time I actually decided to remove some of that excess material that had knocked off the dust shoe so I cut off kind of the extra foam that was sitting above the rail of the board. but I didn't remove enough material because it ended up knocking off the dust shoe again anyways. So I had an amazing idea to take off the dust shoe, but that just made a huge mess. It was like the biggest mess I've ever seen. Foam everywhere, I was cleaning it up for about four days. So don't, don't ever remove the dust shoe. And then my machine crashed into the extra foam anyways and knocked the board off the suction cups and messed everything up. So then for my third attempt at cutting out the board, I actually programmed into the code of shaping out the board um, to remove all of the excess foam around the outside of the actual board model. And that way, there's no way that the machine could hit that extra foam and knock it off of the suction cup. Uh, the only problem is I messed up my zeroing and I cut way too deep on one of the passes and it ran right into the stringer and ripped the whole board off of it again. All right, so now that we're all caught up with everything, this is how I'm going to cut out the board. This is my plan. Uh, I just kind of made it up. I don't, maybe there's a better way to do this, but this seems to be working for me. So, so I've got the model of my board positioned inside a model of the surfboard blank that I have. And then what I do 
is in Fusion 360, I go and I create a sketch that has a line that is parallel to the bed of my machine. And I rotate my board uh, so that it's in the correct orientation where I want it when, for when I start cutting. And now I know that my board is gonna be here compared to the bed of my machine. When you're lining up a surfboard, you want to know exactly where the suction cups are. And so you choose two points. I've chosen 170 millimeters from the nose and 290 millimeters from the tail. And I've positioned two more lines at those points. So the line at these points, I can measure the distance uh, between the bottom of the surfboard blank and the top of the bed of the machine. And then I know that at 170 millimeters from the nose of the board, I need one suction cup to be 40 millimeters up from the bed of the machine. And then at the other end of the machine, so 1400 millimeters from the front suction cup, I'll need my tail suction cup to be 38 millimeters raised up from the bed of the machine. And then this way, if you do those measurements correctly and you put the surfboard on it and you line everything up properly, um, the machine will know exactly where the surfboard blank is uh, with respect to itself. So when it comes to actually cutting out the board, the shape of the board from the surfboard blank, uh, I'm gonna do it in two steps. I'm gonna cut out the top first and then the, I'm gonna flip the board and cut out the bottom. And the, what I've learned from my previous attempts is that all of this excess foam around the outside of the board needs to be removed. Otherwise my machine is gonna run into it because my cutting tool is not able to cut deep enough. It's only about one inch high. So my plan is to do two operations to cut out this board. The first one is gonna be a operation to remove all of the extra foam around the outside. And then once that's completed, I'll do my uh, final pass, which will cut out the shape of the board, the top shape of the board. And then once this is complete, I'll be able to flip the board over and repeat the process. So for the bottom, I'll be removing all the excess foam here on the tail section, which is very thick. It was thin enough at the front that I didn't have to remove the extra foam. I can then complete the board by shaping the bottom half and then hopefully everything's lined up properly and we get a nice finish. After over a year of trying to build this CNC machine, I finally got my first board off of it 
and I am super happy with how it went. The board is pretty much perfect, um, considering it's my first board. The only problems with it are from the previous times that I tried to cut out this blank. And so I've got a pretty big gouge up in the nose here where I messed up on one of my earlier attempts. Also from one of my earlier attempts, there is a big, uh, we'll call it a, a channel, a speed channel in the rail here from where um, I messed up again. And I think I'll be able to fix up these channels and I've never really been too concerned about how it looks or whatever. The shape should be good enough to test out how it feels.